I'm Margaret Jo McCullen. And I'm Terry Rialto. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to The Delicious Dish on National, National Public, Public Radio. Radio. <laughs> now, Terry, it's Christmas season again, our favorite time of year. That's right, Margaret Jo. Holiday time is when the most wonderful culinary wishes can come true. Now, what's on your list this holiday season, Margaret Jo? Well, Terry, I really got greedy this year. I'm asking Chris Kringle for a wooden bowl, some oversized index cards, and a funnel. Ooh, a funnel. That'll be great for funneling. I know. I, I feel like a glutton. <laughs> what's on your list, Terry? Well, I'm only asking Santa for one thing, a big box of glue traps to help me deal with my excessive rat problem. <laughs> now tell me, um, are you, Margaret Joe, going to leave any treats out for Santa this year? Oh, absolutely, I always do. I like to leave Santa some tap water and rice. <laughs> if Santa's anything like me, Christmas foods really wreak havoc on the old digestive system. What are you gonna leave, Terry? Uh, I can't ever leave food out in my apartment because I have an excessive rat problem. That's neat. Santa's fun. Santa's he is fun. fun. Neat. Yeah, it's fun. Fun. Like good Christmas. times. Good times. Neat. Well, Christmas is a time for traditional foods and bite-sized treats, and we have a very special guest today. That's right, Terry. He's the owner of his own holiday bakery with a very, very clever name. Seasons Eatings. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I know, it rhymes with Seasons Greetings. <laughs> uh, please welcome the owner of Seasons Eatings, Pete Schwetty. Hi, Pete. <laughs> welcome. How are welcome, you? Welcome, Pete. We like the name of your store. Oh. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, did I pronounce your name uh, correctly? You sure did. Pete Schwetty. <laughs> well, Pete, Terry and I have been looking forward to having you on the show because we know you're the master of all kinds of Christmas goodies. Tell us about them. Well, there are lots of great treats at this time of the year. Zucchini bread, fruitcake. Mm. But the thing that I most like to bring out at this time of the year are my balls. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> mm. Tell us about your balls, Pete. Well, over at Seasons Eatings, we have balls for every taste. Popcorn balls, mm. cheese balls, rum balls, you name mm. it. Wow. My mouth's watering just thinking about those balls. <laughs> it's been years since I've seen any balls. <laughs> Would you like to see my balls now? Yeah. yeah. Whip them out. Whip them, baby. Ooh, wow. Mm. Wow. You have some beautiful balls. <laughs> They're bigger than I expected. I know a lot of people tell me that. Look at that, Terry, the way they glisten. That's because I make sure that each one of my balls gets plenty of oil. I can't help but notice, Pete, your balls are a little misshapen. That's because I rested them on a hot stove for too long. Can I touch your balls? Go ahead, but be careful. They're very delicate. Wow. Oh. I can't wait to get my mouth around this ball. Oh. Ooh, I like the way your balls smell. Do whatever you want to them, ladies. My balls are here for your pleasure. Wow, Pete. I have to say, your balls are so tender. Well, there's no beating my balls. They're made from a secret, sweaty family recipe. No one can resist my sweaty balls. Nothing Delicious. like a sweaty ball. Sweaty balls. Good times. Mm. Good times. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. How, how, oh, our producer um, Glenn is gesturing to us from the technician's booth. And it looks like he, it, oh, very good. He's telling us to wrap it up. I guess that's all the time we have today, Terry. So join us next week when our topic will be that other holiday favorite, Fragrant, fragrant Salty Nuts. <laughs> hey, quick plug. If you order from Seasons Eatings now, we can still send out a special sweaty ball sack in time for Christmas. Ooh, great idea. My niece would love a sack of sweaty balls. Hello. I'm Margaret Jo McCullough. And I'm Terry Rialto. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to, to The Delicious, Delicious Dish on National, National Public Radio. Radio. Well, Terry, tomorrow is the first Sunday in May, and it's one of our favorite holidays on Delicious Dish. That's right, Margaret Jo. Every year for one day, we celebrate and say thank you to Dietary, dietary Fiber. fiber. <laughs> As you all know, Sunday is National Dietary Fiber Day, and we've celebrated that together for years. Yeah, and even though we've been friends for a long time, you could say our shared love of fiber keeps our relationship brand new. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks. You took the D off brand and made it bran. Bingo. <laughs> Did you just come up with that joke? No. I got the idea the day after last day's, <clears throat> last year's Dietary Fiber Day show, and so I had to wait till now. So, Terry. What's your favorite kind of fiber? I like quinoa. Whoa. I threw you, didn't I? You thought I was gonna say barley. Yeah. That was a real game changer. <laughs> More like grain changer. Good one. You're lucky you thought of that joke today. Yeah, it's neat. It's fun. It's good, good times. Happy Fiber Day. Go to you too. Thanks. <laughs> Our guest today is a little bit of a rock star in the confectionery world. No kidding. She yeah. can shake it, break it, and sprinkle it, child. Yeah. Please welcome Florence Dusty from Dusty's Old Time Bakery. Hi, Florence. Hi, Florence. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Florence, what delicious treat are you going to share with us today? Ah, well, a lot of people like my pumpkin pie, and of course my, my carrot cake is obviously legendary. But if there's one thing I'm known for, it's my muffin. Mm. Wow. Get a whiff of that. <laughs> Pretty intense, right? Mm. Mm, I can't wait to taste your muffin. Mm. 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 Wow. Warm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly salty. <laughs> I mean that in a very good way. Your muffin is remarkably velvety. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. I think we both assumed, and I think wrongfully, that a baker of your generation might tend towards a more dry or crusty muffin. <laughs> Well, that's true. Uh, many bakers from my era uh, have dry or even yeasty muffins. A yeasty muffin can really ruin your whole day. Sometimes you're weak. Mm -hmm. Wow, the phone lines are really lighting up. We can get to those later. Florence, there's a tangy taste in this muffin. Is that a cherry? Oh, no, no, my muffin hasn't had a cherry since 1939. Your muffin sure has seen a lot. Yeah. Mm. 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 Your muffin just squirted in my mouth. Mm. It happens. <laughs> I guess I'm eating it the right way. Yeah, go to town. You know, I don't talk about it a lot, but I went through a pretty major muffin phase in college. I would have guessed that based on your appearance. <laughs> it 
it's the haircut. <laughs> now, you're unveiling your new muffin today. Are you nervous about how it will be received? Well, you know, girls, when I was younger, I was so concerned with how my muffin looked. <laughs> but as I got older, I started to think, to heck with it. This is my muffin, and I don't care how it looks. <laughs> I'm just going to let it all hang out. That's really progressive. You go, sister. That's right, child. I'm Florence Dusty. I'm 88 and a half years old, and I'm proud to unveil my giant Dusty muffin. Ooh. Ooh. That's yeah. gorgeous. Just look at that. Look wow. at that. It's timeless. It's a, lot, a lot went into that. A whole lot of business. <laughs> well, ladies, as I used to say to my loving husband, Irving, of 55 years, what are you waiting for, stupid? Eat it. God bless. Good times. God bless you. Well, thank you so much, Florence. And to our listeners, don't worry, we'll be sure to post some really sweet muffin shots online later. <laughs> Good times. <clears throat> That's all for Delicious Dish. Join us next week when we'll be talking about pork, pork buns. buns. Not a fam. <laughs>